Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to see Mental Math Sums and Addition Worksheet in Class 2. We know that addition is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. Let us go into the details of this video now. First, we are going to begin the session with sums on mental math. Mental math means math that is done quickly in the mind without the use of pen and paper. Let us see how to do them. To add 9 to a number, first add 10 to that number and then subtract 1. Let us see this with examples. 52 plus 9. To add 52 plus 9, quickly add 52 plus 10, which will give you 62. Now subtract 1 from 62. 62 minus 1 will give you the answer 61. So 52 plus 9 is equal to 61. See how quickly we have done this? Next, let us do another example for the same concept. 49 plus 9 is equal to dash. First add 49 plus 10. We know that it is 59. Subtract 1 from 59. 59 minus 1 is equal to 58. Now, answer for 49 plus 9 is 58. Next, let us see how to add 8 to a number. To add 8 to a number, first add 10 to that number and then subtract 2. Let us see this with examples. 75 plus 8 is equal to dash. First add 75 plus 10 which will give you the answer 85. Now subtract 2 from 85 which will give you 83. So the sum of 75 plus 8 is equal to 83. Let us do another example. 37 plus 8 is equal to dash. First add 37 plus 10. 37 plus 10 is 47. Now subtract 2 from 47. 47 minus 2 is 45. So the answer for 37 plus 8 is equal to 45. Okay, now how to add 7 and 6? We know that 10 minus 3 is 7 and 10 minus 4 is 6. Let us use this concept to do the mental math calculation. So, 37 plus 7 is equal to dash. First, as usual, add 10 to 37. So, 37 plus 10 will give you 47. Now, we have to subtract 3 from 47. 47 minus 3 will give you 44. So, the answer for 37 plus 7 is equal to 44. Now, let us do an example for adding 6 to a number. 66 plus 6 is equal to dash. So first add 66 plus 10 which will give you the answer 76. We know that 10 minus 4 is 6. So now we have to subtract 4 from 76. 76 minus 4 will give you 72. So the sum of 66 plus 6 will give you the answer 72. Now let us do another set of mental math sums. Here we have a 3 digit number 252 plus 4. For this, we can directly use the after number concept. After 252, it is 253, 254, 255 and 256. Hope you are able to understand how I am doing this. Now 714 plus 5 will give you 714, after that you have 715, 716, 717, 718, 719. So dear viewers, remember when you have to add numbers which are 5 and less than 5 to another number, you can directly use the after number concepts and do the addition. But when the number that you have to add is above 5 like 6, 7, 8 or 9, you can use this concept. See for example, 275 plus 9. Instead of using the after number concept, you can use the concept which we saw in the previous session. What did I say you? To add 9, you have to add a 10 and subtract 1. So 275 plus 10 minus 1 will give you the answer 284. 
Let us do the next sum. 658 plus 6. Now we have to add a number which is above 5. So what you can do? 658 plus 10 minus 4 which is 668 minus 4 which will give you the answer 664. Now to add 525 plus 30 this is a straight addition. Once you know skip counting by 10 this becomes easy. After 525, 535, 545, 555. So these are all mental math sums which the children can do very quickly. 852 plus 100 will give you the answer 952. 456 plus 200 will give you the answer 556 then 656 because we are adding 200 in this case. The last sum that we are going to see in this model is 988 plus 8 will give you the answer. So now quickly add 988 plus 10 which is 998 and subtract 2. So the answer is 996. Next we are going to do addition worksheet. Children will be able to do the sums that I have given in addition worksheet if they are very clear with the concept of addition that they have learnt in class 2. I have dealt with all the topics of addition in class 2 in separate videos. Links to all those videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. You may refer those videos before even doing these addition worksheet sums. It will be easy for the children. Let us go on to this video now. First, we are going to do regroup the following. I have given you the tens place and ones place of a number. In ones place we have 17 and the tens place we have 3. So how do you regroup this? In ones place you cannot have 2 digits. So 17 ones can be regrouped as 110 plus 7 ones. So retain the 7 ones in the ones place and take the 110 as a carryover to the digit in the tens place. In tens place you already have 3. So what will be there in the dash now? 3 plus 1, 4. So just recheck. 3 tens plus 17 ones will give you 47. When you regroup and write it properly, you get 4 tens, which is 40 plus 7 ones. So the answer is 47. Let us do another sum. Here we have 23 ones and 5 tens. How will you regroup this? 23 ones can be written as 2 tens plus 3 ones. So retain the 3 ones in the ones place and take the 2 tens to the tens place. In tens place you already have 5. So 5 plus 2 will give you 7. So you will have 7 tens and 3 ones. So just for cross checking, 5 tens plus 23 ones will give you the answer. 50 plus 23, 73. So when you regroup it properly, it is 7 tens plus 3 ones. 7 tenths is 70 plus 3 ones is 73. So you get the correct answer 73. Now, the next type of question that you can give to test the children is like this. Put a tick for the correct answer and put a wrong for the wrong answer. 7 plus 5 plus 0 will give you 13. These are all the properties of addition. So if the children know the properties of addition, they can do this sum. So, is 7 plus 5 plus 0 13? No. So, put a into mark. 7 plus 0 plus 5 is 12. Is the answer correct? Yes, we know that 7 plus 0 is 7 and 7 plus 5 will give you 12. So, put a tick mark against the answer. The next sum we have is 18 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 20. Is the answer correct? No. 18 plus 1 plus 0 is equal to 19. Is this correct? 18 plus 1 is 19 and 19 plus 0 is again 19. So put a tick mark against the correct answer. Fill in the missing numbers. This is another interesting type of question that you can give the children to test their understanding of the addition concept. Here I have given you Four numbers. Now begin the addition from left to right. I have given that in the form of an arrow indicating that we have to add from left to right. So 30 plus 7 is equal to 37. 
Next, come down to the next row. 30 plus 1 is equal to 31. Okay. The next instruction that we have is down arrow indicating that we have to do a vertical addition now. 30 plus 30 will give you 60. Next, move on to the next column and add 7 plus 1 which will give you 8. Okay, the next instruction that you have is add from top to bottom 37 plus 31. This is again a vertical addition. So begin the addition from the ones place. 7 plus 1 is 8 and 3 plus 3 is 6. So the answer is 68. Wait, again here we have another instruction. Add 60 plus 8. What is 60 plus 8? 68. Doesn't this sum sound very interesting? Let us do one more sum like this. So now we have four numbers 50, 3, 40 and 4. The first instruction is to add horizontally from left to right. 50 plus 3 will give you 53. Move on to the next row. 40 plus 4 is 44. Now the next instruction is to do a vertical addition from left to right. So 50 plus 40 will give you 90. Move right to the next column where you have 3 plus 4 which will give you 7. So what is the next instruction? Do addition of 53 plus 44 vertically. When you add 53 plus 44 you will get 97. The last instruction here you have is add from left to right 90 plus 7 which again will give you the answer 97. Let us move on to the next sum. Write the numbers in the correct places and add 147 plus 256. Here I have given you 9 boxes with our addition symbol. Place these numbers in the correct boxes and add them. First write down the place values 1s, 10s and 100s and now write down the numbers. 147 plus 256. Begin addition from 1's place. 7 plus 6 is 13. 3 in 1's place. 1 is a carryover. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 0 in 10's place and 1 is a carryover to the 100's place. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So the answer is 403. Take another example. 551 plus 39. Here again I am giving you 9 squares. So write down the place values and write the numbers. 551 can be written like this but 39 is having only two places, 1's place and 10's place. So write it appropriately in the correct place and do the addition. 1 plus 9 is 10 and 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 9. Next move on to the 100's place you get 590. So sum of 551 plus 39 will give you the answer 590. Next we have three three digit numbers. Write them down in the correct places and do the addition. So add in the 1's place, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 9 is 11, 11 plus 2 is 13, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 plus 2 is 5. See how easy it is once you place the numbers in their correct place values. Now in this sum we have one three digit number and two two digit numbers. So write down the place values and write the numbers in their correct places. This type of sums will definitely make the children clearly understand the concept of place values and how to put the numbers in vertical addition. So begin addition from 1's place. 5 plus 1 plus 4 is 10. 0 carry over 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. 5 carry over 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So the sum of the three numbers is 350. Dear viewers, hope you like doing the different varieties of sums in this worksheet video. With this, I completed all the topics in class 2 under the topic addition. I have covered each of these topics in separate videos. Links to all the videos are given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel to get many more such interesting videos as next I am going to deal with the topic of subtraction. Thank you. See you again.